played Soriano. Palacio. Nice idea. Soriano again with the feet. And the penalty kick is awarded. A little bit of inspiration from Roberto Soriano. And Bologna have the chance. Eric Pulga has the chance to give them this crucial advantage. And so Andrioli. Making the challenge, there was no way through with both Barba and Andrioli there. Of course, Soriano was going down. And now, is it going to be another professional penalty kick from Pulga? Well, Andrioli, as he avoided the booking. Pulga who came off the uh, the bench his first touch of the match against the Sassuolo was to take the penalty kick which he converted that was in the 68th minute that was the first goal of the game and now 65th is it going to be to Miley surely not so Pulga why such a long Halt to the play. Pairetto, the referee, is not sympathetic to Sorrentino. He has to try and stop Eric Pulga. Three penalties from three attempts this season to get them out of the relegation. And he's put it into the back of the net. It's a vital goal here for Bologna. He does not miss from the penalty spot, Eric Pulga. In a game of such small margins, any sort of error could prove costly. And now it's 65 minutes gone. Bologna won, Chievo nil. Sorrentino may have gone the right way, but he wasn't strong enough to stop his fourth goal of the season. Fighting at the bottom of the table, Saputo, the president again there, looking pretty calm. Sansone cutting back inside, he's got Palacio, still Sansone. He goes down again, and it's another penalty. Just moments, seconds after the first was converted. Pulgar's going to get another opportunity. And how quickly Kievo crumbled. Sansone all the way, Bani coming from behind, well is it Andrioli or Bani who makes the final touch? There's not a lot of contact there from Bani. It's Andrioli who's given away both penalties, though Barba was also there with him. And so just moments later, just seconds after the first goal was converted by Eric Pulgar, he's going to have another opportunity, a man.